morning class 10 uh, this is the last practical of your class 10 syllabus this is from chapter of carbon and its compounds and this is regarding your action of soap in hard and soft water now for the soft water i am using distilled water you can also use tap water while for the hard water now these days you rarely get hard water at home from mcds so i have prepared a hard water in the lab how do you prepare it you take some water to it you can add salts of calcium chloride calcium sulfate magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate can be added any of these can be added and you can try to dissolve it as much as possible after that you need to filter it up so you can pass it through the filter paper and collect the filtrate now this filtrate which i am getting is your hard water sample so hard water can be prepared by yourself or else if you have tube well water or an underground water source in your school you can use that also fine now how do we proceed with the practical you will be requiring two test tubes in it in one test tube i am using distilled water as my water sample you can use around 2 cm in length roughly 2 to 3 ml of distilled water and i will be taking the hard water sample also in the same amount so i'm using this sample of hard water i'm trying to make them almost similar in amounts slightly more left hand side is your hard water sample fine so i've taken them to be almost of the same length the water amount in both of them is same this is my soft water while this is my hard water this is distilled water and this is the hard water sample which we prepared now this is the soap that i'm using you can use any liquid hand wash soap that you have in your school or at home this is the soap sample that i'm using and i'm going to add one or two drops of soap to both of them one two one two so two drops of soap in both of them now you are supposed to shake them equally let's say i am doing 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now you need to check have a close look can you see the difference can you see the difference the difference is absolutely clear you can clearly see the foam length is more than double in case of soft water while the foam length is only this much in case of hard water so the foaming capacity the cleaning action in soft water or the distilled water is much more when you have this much is your foam length you can also measure the foam length using a scale and the foam length here is roughly around 5 inches in 5 cm in length while in this case it is barely 2 cm in length less than 2 cm in case of hard water while in case of soft water it is almost touching 5 cm in length that shows that the sample is soft when it has a high foaming capacity while in this case the foam is less there is another difference if you can sense this has more haziness in the liquid section can you see this is more hazy while this is comparatively clearer a clearer sample means there is less of precipitate in the clear solution while in this case there is haziness means there is scum formation in the soap so the hard water is leading to formation of scum in the water sample the foam length is less and there is more of turbidity in the water sample formation of calcium and magnesium salts of soap while in this case the foam length is much higher showing that this is soft water so if you are given two samples of water and you are asked to identify which is hard which is soft you just need to add a drop of soap and you would get your results the one which has more foam is soft less foam is hard that's it thank you and sometimes